Hello everybody and welcome back to SFF 180. It is Mailbag Monday for February 17th, 2014. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I certainly have. I want to start out uh, this episode just by saying a big thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the channel has seen a massive boost uh, in the last few days. Uh, on Wednesday of last week, um, my good buddy John DiNardo over at SF Signal uh, posted a really, really nice plug uh, for the channel. And that brought in huge views. Uh, it nearly doubled the subscriptions uh, from last Wednesday to today. Um, so that is, is really, really wonderful. And I want to say thank you so much. Welcome to all the, uh, the new subscribers who have, uh, who have come by. Uh, I will do my level best to make uh, this channel worth your time and support. So you all are awesome. And thanks so much for this growth. It's very exciting to see. Also, uh, thanks again. Uh, a little bit more support on the crowdfunder. Uh, I'll put the link down there. Like I said, it's not a required thing, but you know, if you feel like you can pitch in and help defray the 2014 hosting fees, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I have another ARC uh, going out to a person, a, a surprise ARC. They'll have no idea what it is. So thank you for that. Uh, so finally, let me see, what else? No, 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 have not given up. Have not given up the, the written reviews, the text reviews. Those are coming. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be working uh, to, after I get these uh, videos done today on a Darkling Sea and uh, Annihilation. And then I'll be uh, catching up uh, with some others. Uh, so the sfreviews.net website is going to be finally getting its big uh, update and refresh and, and brought up uh, current and all the rest of that. So that will be a relief to get done, finally. So, But again, couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you all to the new subs and the new growth. And let's see that momentum continuing, shall we? All right, so I guess that's enough administrivia stuff. Let's get on with this week's mail. Check it out. This is the uh, the mailbag for, for this week. Uh, looks like a bunch of books in here, even though it's a few packages, because a couple of these have several things in them. So we will not waste time. We will dig right in. Okay, uh, this first one is from Macmillan. Okay, uh, this is a young adult from Tor Teen. It's by Mindy Arnett. It's called The Nightmare Affair. A 16-year-old Dusty Everhart breaks into houses late at night, but not because she's a criminal. No, she's a nightmare, literally. Being the only nightmare at Arkwell Academy, a boarding school for magic kind, and living in the shadow of her mother's infamy is hard enough. But when Dusty sneaks into Eli Booker's house, things get a whole lot more complicated. He's hot which means sitting on his chest and invading his dreams couldn't get much more embarrassing. My goodness, young adult stuff is getting just more towards the adult end of things these days, is it not? All right, so, um, you know, adolescent sexy times, maybe, in The Nightmare Affair. Oh, it could be good, but Mindy Arnett actually also has a new space opera out, a book called Avalon, uh, that I'll be covering soon. Uh, so here it is, um, and thank you very much to, to Tortine for sending that. I am so happy that there are none of those crazy vacuum-sealed, horrible uh, packages this week. All right, well, uh, this is a book called Reflected. It's by Rhiannon Held, and it is a sequel to a book called Silver, so it uh, appears to be a UF. Let's have a look and see what it's all about. Uh, Rhiannon Held returns with Reflected, the third, oh, okay, uh, engrossing tale in the series that began with Silver. In this enchanting urban fantasy novel, new readers and returning fans are invited to take a glimpse into the secret lives of the werewolf packs that live and hunt alongside human society. Okay, so right there with that uh, description, you pretty much know whether this is for you or not. Uh, but for those of you who have a soft spot for uh, lycanthropes, uh, Rhiannon Held's new book is out, Reflected. It's from Tor. Okay, and here's a big package with several things in it uh, from Simon & Schuster. So let's just uh, try to get all these out without spilling them everywhere. Okay, so four titles in that bad boy. Let's just go through them one by one. Okay, so first we have two novels by a guy named Douglas Nicholas. Uh, it's a book called Something Red and its new sequel, The Wicked. Uh, this came out last year, apparently. I didn't get it originally, uh, and, but this one is just out new. So uh, let's, uh, let's find out what these are all about, shall we? Okay, so a haunting fantasy set in 13th century England that tells the tale of a band of brave souls and their quest to seek and destroy, quote, a creature of blood and dream, prowling in the dark woods. Something red speaks to readers on a visceral level. Uh, da, 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 da. Young Robert, known as Hobb, was just entering adolescence when he was taken from the monastery where he grew up. 
he became the apprentice of Molly, a middle-aged woman with a mysterious past. Traveling with Molly is her enigmatic lover Jack, and her whimsical granddaughter Namain, who is just a year older than he. Um, I suspect he being Hob and not uh, the enigmatic lover Jack, uh, because that would be weird. Mom would be a cougar. Now, nearly two years later, they're crossing the spine of northwestern England, racing against time to find shelter from the impending winter and snow. Okay, I like historical fantasies, um, so this is not bad. Uh, but more than deathly snowstorms bears down this traveling pack, a strange and terrible creature is stalking them. Uh, so yeah, something rad, and uh, this is the sequel, The Wicked. So let me know what you think. Okay, and here is uh, another uh, fantasy series from the same publisher. Um, again, books that I haven't gotten yet, but uh, they're catching me up. Uh, this is a book called The Mapmaker's War. The author is Ronlin Domingue. Okay, I am so sorry for mangling the pronunciation of that name, but there you are. And the sequel, which is in arc form, called The Chronicle of Secret Riven. So, uh, I don't know, they look pretty interesting. Let's find out what they're all about. Okay, so she's being compared to uh, Margaret Atwood. The Mac Makers War, a legend. In an ancient time, in a faraway land, where women are expected to become wives and mothers and nothing else, Aoife, 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 Aoife is the daughter of the king's most trusted advisor. Though her friendship, through her friendship with Will, the prince, she is allowed a rare apprenticeship to become her kingdom's map maker, tasked with charging the tar charting the entire domain. Traveling beyond its borders, she finds a secret of people who live in peace among great wealth. They claim to protect a mythic treasure, one connected to the creation of the world. When Eif reports their existence to her kingdom, the community is targeted as a threat. Okay, so xenophobia, bigotry, um, you know, established, I guess, patriarchal rule, this sort of thing. Um, seems like it could be pretty interesting. I like, I like the general premise so far. So The Map Maker's War, and the sequel is The Chronicles of Secret Riven. Okay, and here we have another big uh, chunky package, and this is full of stuff, and I suspect that it is going to be the new Penguin mass market paperbacks. Okay, well, it's actually uh, lots of Penguin stuff, including uh, this. They're catching me up on the new C.S. Friedman uh, fantasy novel, Dreamwalker. Uh, this appears to be uh, an urban fantasy uh, from C.S. Friedman. Uh, new from Dahl in hardcover. Okay, here's the latest installment in Seanan McGuire's uh, new series, Encrypted. This is Half Off Ragnarok. Uh, Seanan's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I may do uh, just all of these in one big go, if you like, because um, she's only three books into this series right now. It'd be easy to catch her up. Um, Half Off Ragnarok, new in paperback from Daw. And here we have To Do or Die. This is a new uh, military SF uh, in a series by Mike Shepard, who is best known for the Chris Longknife series. Um, Mike's real name is Mike Mosco, and this is actually an earlier series that he did uh, before Chris Longknife took off. And now they're re-releasing, uh, they've re-released the earlier books in the series, and now I think this is a brand new installment. So To Do or Die, which sounds very military. Uh, here is a, a new UF uh, called Night Owls. The author is Lauren M. Roy. And let's see what this is all about. Uh, Night Owls Bookstore is the one spot on campus open late enough to help out even the most practiced slacker. Because slackers practice. The employee's penchant, penchant, or penchant, I like pronouncing it that way, for fighting the evil creatures of the night is just a perk. So you have, like, bookstore employees uh, fighting evil creatures. Something tells me that this is... <laughs> The wish fulfillment for every science fiction and fantasy geek who's ever worked in a bookstore. Uh, Valerie McTeague's business model is simple. Provide the students of Edgewood College with a late-night study haven and stay as far as possible from the underworld conflicts of her vampire brethren. Why do you have to say the V word? Why? Uh, she's experienced that life, and the price she paid was far too high for her ever want to return. Uh, but then I guess, uh, you know, things go awry. So, but hey, well, here, Lauren M. Roy, Night Owls, you know, again, am I wrong? Am I wrong for being so prejudiced against vampire fiction? Let me know. But here it is. And finally, we have now in mass market paperback, at last, Julie Cherneda's uh, recent book, A Turn of Light. It was originally released in trade paperback. Uh, so here we now have it in mass market. I really like Julie Cherneda, uh, but it's been a while since I've read uh, one of hers. So uh, I I'm really intrigued by this one. Let me know what you think, if I should go ahead and prioritize it. And last but not least, Random House Package. Well, this is intriguing looking. The Quick. The author is Lauren Owen. A suspenseful, 
gloriously atmospheric first novel and a feast of gothic storytelling that is impossible to resist. Let's find out more about this, shall we? Okay, The Quake is an ambitious and imaginative debut novel that signals the arrival of a dazzling new talent. It is Victorian London, and James Norbury, a shy would-be poet newly down from Oxford, finds lodging with a charming young man from a wealthy family. Through this new friendship, he's introduced to the drawing rooms of high society and finds an unexpected romance. Then he disappears without a trace. His frantic sister, Charlotte, five years older and already confined to life as a spinster at their crumbling country estate, sets out to find him. In the sinister labyrinthine city that greets her, she uncovers a secret world at street level, populated by unforgettable characters. But the answer to James' disappearance ultimately lies in the perpetually darkened corridors of the exclusive Egulius Club, whose members include some of the most ambitious and most dangerous men in England. Mm, 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 mm. That sounds like it could be nifty, full of mystery and... Uh, just all sorts of clandestine goings-on. Wow. Uh, and of course, foggy Victorian streets. Let me know about this, folks. The Quick by Lauren Owen. A new debut, and it's set to arrive in stores June 17th. Wink is being a crybaby out there. She wants attention, so I'm going to go give her some. But anyway, that is everything for this week, folks. Again, let me know in the comments which of these look most intriguing to you. Again, thank you so much for the recent channel growth. Uh, share this video far and wide uh, with your SFF reading friends. Give it a like uh, if you enjoy watching. And subscribe to the channel, of course, and encourage all your SFF reading friends to do so if they haven't already done so. And until I see you next time, happy reading. Thank you.